Also, I just want to say one more thing about shock mounts real quick. Make sure it's compatible. Not only do you want to match the height of the shock mount with the height of your mic, but you also need to make sure that your mic can actually screw into the shock mount that you're getting. And let me show you here. I have two shock mounts I'm about to show you, and I'll show you what the differences are. Alrighty, so in front of me, I have two different shock mounts. We have one that's taller and has a different opening at the bottom. And then we have this one right here, a shorter, more low profile shock mount with a wider opening, okay? And I'm gonna show you how my mic, which is right down there, my TLM 103, cannot fit in both of these, okay? So let me show you real quick. So this is exactly what I mean. So here we have my mic, right? This right here is already a tall mic. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I mean by this mic is too, or sorry, the shock mount's too tall and it won't fit. So let me just, let me just carefully do this, okay? Look, if I insert it, this shock mount is like barricading the mic, you see that? And it won't even fit at the bottom there. The, the opening won't fit through the hole. So like I wouldn't be able to screw it in. But if I show you with the other shock mount, and if we take a look at this shock mount, this mic will fit in just perfectly. Boom. And I can screw in the bottom there. Look, it fits right through the hole perfectly. It'll screw in and it'll be all perfect. And see what I mean when I say it's a low profile mic? Because the whole front of it is now exposed and you can properly sing into it with no problems. So yeah, guys, make sure the bottom of your mic can fit with the opening down there as well, and that the height of your mic matches the height of the shock mount. And that's it, y'all. Make sure you choose the right shock mount, and don't mess up. <laughs>